Welcome back to RuralVacantLand.com. It's Luke Smith. And first, I want to say thank you to everybody that's watching my videos and uh, learning about vacant land. You can go buy land for next to nothing out there. Check out online and, and run with it. Make it your own. And thanks for thanks for all the calls and emails and questions and stuff, and especially all the people that are actually buying the land, making the jump, move out of the city, go get rid of their mortgage, get rid of the rent, go do it on your own, right? Go build your own place. It's really fun. I love that. Um, and the people that come to me and say, Luke, your land's cheap. Let's buy this. And then, uh, hey, Luke, can you resell that land for me at a higher price? It's like, yeah, we can do that too. We'll just, uh, you buy it for cash. I'll go resell it for on terms, you know, for something down hundred dollars down hundred dollars a month or whatever kind of terms for two to three four or five times as much you just bought it for for cash um I like those kinds of deals too so if you're an investor and you want to just buy these things and have me go sell them on terms um, I'm, I'm totally open for that as well so do the right contracts and stuff and we'll be we'll be off to the races so let's look at this one this is hawaii this is one acre and uh, I'm asking $4,999. And this is in Hawaiian Ocean View Estates. And the reason I like this neighborhood and I target this specific neighborhood over all the others in the area is that it's wide open building codes. You, you know, you don't have any of the rules and regulations that the other neighborhoods have. This is one of the first big neighborhoods out here. This is the largest neighborhood in the country that I know of. It's like over 10,000 lots in the one neighborhood. Whoever dreamt this one up was either brilliant or crazy, but uh, they um, drew this neighborhood out. They built roads and yeah, took a while to fill in the roads. The roads are there. You can drive up to the properties. I had one guy buy one of the properties in this neighborhood. This is the kind of, the kind of uh, you know, gusto that I like to hear. He was from I think it was Chicago, and uh, he found a urt on, um, I think it was Craigslist, you know what a urt is, uh, it's one of these round buildings, <laughs> I can't spell it, uh, it's one of these round buildings, here we go, that, um, it's a whole bunch of different kinds, that you can basically pick up and take with you, and they usually have a circle in the middle and you know you can put a total house in there there's youtube videos about people living in these things raising their families in them and stuff and the nice thing about it is it folds up it folds up into like something that you can carry and take with you so there's a lot of different versions of these kinds of structures but they're you built like a, a platform to put it on and then it's just like a big tent they're from mongolia here's like more of a rustic looking one here's more of the uh the kind you buy on the internet. Here's the crazy fancy Lotus tent design ones. They're like $10,000 or something. But uh, some of these cheaper ones are just made out of basic materials. And uh, he packed it on a plane and <laughs> took it to Hawaii to move in one of these properties. <laughs> like brilliant, you can go live in one of those things and you totally live on it. You just build the platform, put that on the platform and go for it. It's that kind of stuff you can do in this neighborhood. And so this neighborhood's got people living in cars, it's got people living in mobile homes, it's got people living in sparsely built houses up to fancy, fancy houses. It's a eclectic collection of people that don't want to be told what to do. And that's the kind of place that I fit right in. So here's the property. It's not one of the long, long, skinny ones. It's a shorter, fatter one. So lots of the neighborhood has these long, skinny properties. This is one of the shorter, fatter ones. And this one is on Plumeria Lane, you know, classic Hawaiian name, right? And halfway up the hill. So the other ones that I've had in the past are like way up here at the top of the hill where you get uh, close to 5,000 foot elevation. Down here, I'll see if I can figure out what the elevation is in a minute or two. But uh, there's a lot more houses as you get closer, further down to the road here, right? The Hawaiian Belt Road. Uh, it's you know there's a bunch of houses in here but the further up and up you go generally there's less and less and less houses up here the land's a lot cheaper but there's just less people willing to go live that high in elevation um so the properties sell for a lot more down here like 50 grand down here and like 
five grand up top is more normal market. I'm always trying to sell for like half of that though, right? So I'm asking in the middle of the hill, I was asking $4,999. I think that's definitely on the cheaper side for this, not as far up the hill as most of them in the area are that go for these kinds of prices. I mean, you could probably find something cheaper. I've got cheaper ones on the website, but they're way up the hill. So if you don't want to drive as far up the hill, this is the one for you. Let's go down here. The taxes on it are like $100 a year. The uh, GPS coordinates are here. You can click on that to see it. There's a uh, homeowners association. It's not a homeowners association. It's a you know to take to maintain the road kind of thing. So you pay another hundred dollars a year to maintain the roads. So taxes hundred bucks a year, another hundred dollars a year roughly to maintain the road. Home, it's a road road association thing. So let's zoom out. Show you we're on the Big Island, Hawaii, Hilo. Uh, is over here. Am I going to mix these up? Where is it? Come on. Sorry, Kona. Kona's over here. I always mix them up. Kona's here and Hilo's over here. Hilo and Kona. So flights go into the different areas. We got other properties over here. This is down the south end of the island. This is Mauna Lea and Mauna Kai. I think this is the younger one. So properties down here. Let's zoom in. I think you can do street view. But I also wanted to find out the elevation. And so I'm going to pull up Google Earth. So just bear with me here. Um, we'll see what the elevation is. So if you ever want to check out the elevation of a property, pull up Google Earth, put the GPS coordinates in there got GPS coordinates on every single property that's up for sale on my website. So over 600 properties right now that are for sale. Um, so if you want to know the elevation, this is how you do it. You put it in Google Earth and Google Earth zooms in on the property. You can see there's some houses uh, you know, up the way. It looks like there's someone living across the street and some round. Those might be yurts right there. Don't those look like yurts? Maybe I'm just dreaming, but those look like a couple of them. Maybe those are water tanks, and this is where they're living. And then there's some houses over here, houses over there. So there's houses all the way around the property. So I'm sure if they figured it out, you can do it too. A lot of the people in this neighborhood do water collection systems or get water delivered. Okay, so I'm looking for elevation, right? So I'm not sure if you can see the part of the screen down here um, where my mouse is moving just below the Google. It says elevation 980 meters. And I, for the life of me, I can't figure out how to change the settings on this thing to feet. So 993 meters. Let's go back over here. Let's just, well, let's go back to, yeah, let's do a new one. 983, right? 983 meters to feet. 3,200 feet. So it's not ocean level. It's up above ocean level. That's for sure, because it's a big, it's a big volcano over here. That's not five thousand foot up where the other lots are, four thousand whatever up the hill. So let's we got this on on GPS. I think we can do street view. Let's see if we Plumeria Lane's got street view or not. Yeah, that one's got street view. So let's click on that and let's take a look. Plumeria Lane looks like there's some bush on the property here some trees, there's a power line going down the road. So you got power line at the front of the property, it looks like it's a paved road. And um, I don't think there's sewer here, you gotta do a, your own septic system. Clear day, you can see ocean all over out here. You got ocean views. Got these little trees on the property. The neighbors look like this. Let's take a look at the kinds of houses the neighbors are building. Here's that ice cream truck. It's not creepy or anything. So oftentimes these Hawaiian houses, I see them on stilts built up off the ground. Probably helps for the rain water going through. Put a bunch of trees out there for privacy. They got the power lines 
trapped down to their house. They got the decks on that side looking out at the ocean. The propane tanks for energy. Yeah, that's what you get. You get a neighborhood like this. Just views. You know, you just build on the hill and look out at the ocean. It's pretty neat. Put little gates up for those fences. Those are fences. Keep the dog in. You know, they got their house back up over there. So it's a hill. I mean, this whole thing is a hill. But you're down here on the left. 25 mile an hour speed limit. Look at that. It's a beautiful countryside. You don't have to do much of anything to get out there. Put a pad in. Build your house. So here's some lot lines on this software. I wonder if there's a bed and breakfast across the street called Hawaiian Journeys. I wonder if we can look that up. If they have more pictures, it is yurts. Oh, there you go. So across the street, you got some yurts. Just don't let anyone tell you you can't build a yurt. This is where you can put a yurt on your property. Right across the street from this property, neighbor's got yurts and he's renting them out. What do you think he rents them for? These look like some nice ones. I thought they might have been water tanks. That's pretty cool. This is a street view of it. And then you're over here on this side. You put some more yurts over there, rent them out. Put up five or ten. Use one for yourself. Let's see if we can get some prices. Well, five months ago, eight months ago, nine months ago, I got a whole bunch of good reviews. Let's see if this works. There's a Facebook page. Extremely affordable. The most incredible views in the world. Al and Lisa are great. And with Lucky and Lucy around, there, there are two dogs. No, no waiting. Sounds pretty fun. Right across the street. Let's see if this loads or I got to log in or what. I don't know. It's going slow. So, yurts across the street. You know, I don't have to show you pictures of some in the mountains of trees. I mean, these are ones in Hawaii across the street. Because um, it costs a lot to get supplies to Hawaii, right? So if you just ship the whole yurt, you don't have to worry about buying so much from the store. Look at that. Kitty corner across the street right there. Hawaiian Journeys. That's pretty neat. You can buy this, this property. You can do the same thing. You put your own yurt in there. So, where are we at? This is... Here's the property. I must have clicked down there for some reason. So here's the different lot lines. So the people across the street got this one. Looks like they dribbled over on a neighbor's property. Let's see if it's the same people. Constance something. It's a different name. So it looks like the guy with the yurts owns the corner lot too. So maybe that's their house and they just put some yurts up next door. I don't know why they got them over on that property too. Maybe if someone else owns that so that's cool with it. I don't know. But uh, there you go. That's one way to use a property like this. I was looking at house designs. I thought this might be an interesting one. I like the yurt idea better. But uh, this just looks like Hawaii-ish kind of thing. I don't know about the roofing material on here. But... This looks like it attract rats to me. Big porch, dining room, bathroom, kitchen, bedroom in the back. Super simple. 384 square foot, one bedroom, one bath, one floor house. $1,200 plans sounds a bit expensive, but the uh, I bet you it's a cheap one to build something like this. 2x6 framing. Spray foam cavity insulation, blah, blah, blah. 
shows all necessary notations and dimensions, including support columns, walls, and excavated and unexcavated areas. Uh, it shows all the materials and measurements. Detailed plans drawn to quarter inch scale for each level, showing room dimensions, wall partitions, windows, etc., as well as the location of electrical outlets and switches. Cross section of vertical cutaway view of the house from roof to foundation, showing details of framing, construction, flooring, and roofing. Interior elevations, detailed drawings, kitchen, cabinet elevations, and other elements as required. I thought the guy that put this together is kind of interesting. Um, disdain for the rat race. There we go. We got something in common. And the desire for more independence are just a few reasons. More and more Americans are choosing to move off the grid. My designs are tailored to the off-grid lifestyle. Integrate system planning for energy, water, and waste system solutions. These features add unique value to rural customers with limited or no access to power utilities. Well, this property has power. But uh, this guy's making plans for off-the-grid kinds of buildings. And I like to see that. So I'll put a link to him down below, and you can look at his other designs as well. But Yurt, I think Yurt is like the Hawaii special. You just ship that sucker over. Look at there's a Yurt on a garage. <laughs> there you go. There's one version of them. There's one, another. There's so many different kinds. There's the Lotus-style ones. So that they kind of look different. And uh, I'll take you back to the website. 4999 bucks. You can buy a place in Hawaii that you can put a yurt on the property. The neighbors are doing it. So don't let anyone tell you you can't. Um, you just hit the buy it now to go for it. 4999 Thank you. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. It's Luke Smith, RuralVacantLand.com.